rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. I met Celeste back in March of 2011. Unfortunately, she had lupus, and one of the parts of her body that it attacked was her vocal cords. And she ended up having a lot of hoarseness and scarring of the vocal folds because of that. And she works as a speech-language pathologist, and unfortunately, because her vocal folds were so scarred, it made it almost impossible for her to work. I thought it was either allergies or maybe a lengthy cold, but over time, it actually started affecting how people were perceiving my message. They would stop me and say, wait a minute, your voice is hoarse. You have a very breathy voice. Have you seen an ENT? And then it progressively got worse. At that time, they found that I actually had a cyst on one of my vocal folds. There are many varied options for the treatment of surgical scar. Unfortunately, when there's always a lot of different choices, it really means that there isn't one that's great. So a lot of research in laryngology right now is going into finding the optimal treatment for scar. Dr. Pittman saw me and let me know that I had scarring. There was no longer a cyst that had actually turned into scarring. And considering the fact that I use my voice for a living, we went through well, a few alternatives. Ultimately, I chose the laryngoplasty. Dr. Pittman informed me that the procedure or the surgery was new and that not a lot of patients had done it. So it was still kind of experimental. So in Celeste's case, we're doing a newer procedure uh, that I found that works better for SCAR than many of the others that exist. First, you would have to make an incision behind the ear here and harvest the fascia from the muscle behind and above the ear. The next part of the surgery, we then need to go through the mouth to access the voice box. There are no cuts on the neck, everything is done through the mouth. Now your larynx is here in your neck like this. So go through your mouth to get here. If you can see inside, here is your vocal fold. And then we'll incise the vocal fold and transplant the fascia. <laughs> After we do the surgery, for the first five days there's no speaking at all so that the fascia can stay in place and begin to heal. And then after that you begin to use your voice 10 minutes the first day and double your voice use every day. <laughs> you can't talk, you can't say anything, you cannot clear your throat, you cannot hum, you cannot use your voice at all. Celeste's voice I think is excellent now, it's a relatively normal voice when it was very abnormal before the surgery. There are a number of measures that we can use to actually see how good the voice has become and she's improved in all of those. My voice today is significantly better than it was prior to surgery. My goal out of a surgery is that the patient never thinks about their voice again. I'm glad I had the surgery, honestly, I really am.